Hey everyone, it's Rishi. As a cardiothoracic anesthesiologist, I do a lot of transesophageal echocardiography in the operating room. So whether I'm working on a complex valve or a mechanical circulatory support device implantation, or even a really sick cabbage case, sometimes I see things that I want to store for future lectures, research, and so on and so forth. But the problem is our TEE machines will normally allow us to export these files as DICOMs or JPEGs or ABIs to a USB drive. But ultimately, I want to convert this to an MP4 just because I feel like that file format saves space and is a little bit more versatile in a Mac OS setting. Using Handbrake, an open source piece of software, I'm able to perform this workflow through a batch conversion process. So I'm going to show you all these video files which were taken from the TE machine. And as I said, they natively are exported as AVIs. So as you can see, these are a bunch of TEE clips from a case I did recently. But features like Quick Look don't natively work. Now, you can also see the file sizes are relatively large for pretty short clips. So we'll take a quick look and see. It's about 142 megabytes right there. Now using Handbrake, which is completely free, available on Mac, Linux, and Windows, I'm going to go ahead and open source, and I'm going to look at the AVI files all together. Now this is the key. So by default, it's a little confusing to batch convert all of these files. They're all listed here, but if I hit start right now, it's only going to convert this one file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select Browse and select my destination folder. And then I'm going to go to File, Add Titles to Queue. This is the key, clicking Add Titles to Queue. And it's going to let me select all of them. Go ahead and click Add. And now I'm going to start the entire queue. They'll all pop up here eventually. And now you can see this entire folder is 7.6 megabytes down from 142. And these video files, because they're MP4, they work natively with things like Quick Look. So I can take a quick look at each of the files and decide which ones I want to store, archive, use for research, and so on and so forth. So I'll leave a link with the software below. And I hope this screencast was useful to some of you all looking for a quick way and a free option for batch conversion.